going on guys the gaming ram here and welcome back to beam and g drive and today we are in the monster of a first gen truck here so we're here in tennessee also uh just because we're going to be doing some testing with this truck here now this truck is crazy it, it's been bulletproof oh i've changed the front end around so we got a new grill we got a new hood and we also have a new bumper for the front so it looks a lot better in my opinion but boy does this truck has a lot of power so if you guys don't know we had put a 9.0 liter big block v8 this is from a nascar uh and this engine is built um it has a nascar ecu it has a drag long block so the the engine block is built for drag racing so it can take the abuse it can take the power that this truck is going to be putting down it has uh it's very high ultra heavy duty engine mounts it has a stage one supercharger now here here's a reason it's a stage one if you try to put a stage two supercharger on this truck you're gonna blow up the engine it it makes too much power for the truck and so we have to run a stage one to lower our risk of blowing up this engine. Uh, it has a race oil pan. Uh, the nitrous is 100 pound nitrous bottles. I used to have when I first, when I first seen, oh my goodness. When I first showed you guys this truck, we had TNT nitrous. Now, here's the only downside about TNT nitrous. Number one, the bottles don't come that big. That's what she said. <laughs> we got a 20 pound bottle of Nas in the truck right now. TNT only comes in a 10 pound bottle. So you're gonna use up that TNT pretty quick, which means you're not gonna have that much. It's just not gonna last that long when you're trying to use your nitri uh, nitrous. You're gonna have to have at least 10 to 15 bottles laying around ready to swap them out. Uh, so that's why we have the 100 pound bottle which i believe it's not it may not be as strong as the tnt but it will still do the job and that's what we're going for now exhaust we just have some uh, manifold tips uh so it's no exhaust really it has a six speed sequential transmission ultra light flywheel and is an all-wheel drive transfer case just because if you tried to drive this truck in real real drive form you're not going to get any traction this truck is all-wheel drive and i still can't get traction down all right let me show you oh my god <laughs> that's all i'm gonna say get out this mud here so the engine also the uh because it has a nascar ecu um, it revs to 10,000 RPM, which is a very high revving engine, and this is perfect for that um, supercharger. Uh, it probably would work best with a turbo, but baby steps, baby steps. Let's not kill ourselves here. This truck already makes a lot of power. My oil's overheating. All right, hold on. Let me check on my oil, and uh, we'll get back to you. What's up, guys? It is TGR here, and I wanted to tell you guys about channel memberships. You know, if you want to, of course, you don't have to. Uh, but if you want to see the channel grow, and if you want to put towards um, the channels to see uh, better content, maybe, you know, it, all that goes towards equipment, um, video making, so that way I can give you better content, more content, and possibly more games, etc. and stuff like that on the channel. So, 
if you want to support that's the way to do it and also we have uh super what is it uh super thanks so if you let's say you like a video of your like um my heart work or whatever you can super thanks to donate to the channel which again all of that all of the donations that you guys have or put towards the channel i will put right back into the channel to give you guys better content more content and just upgrade the channel all together as a whole community uh so i just wanted to let you guys know about what's the member members and the perks and the super thanks all that's on the channel but anyway this is tgr i just wanted to let you guys know of some news and just let you guys know So some of you might be thinking, so why did you put a 9.0 liter V8 in this truck? Didn't it come a diesel? No. Um, we had uh, bought four first-gen Ram trucks. Now, let me tell you something. We bought it from the original owner. He had one of them was parted out, which is now a very nice built truck that we had built. And the other one is a box truck. The other truck is a show truck. It's the SEMA truck build that we built. And the white one, which was this one, which was all taken apart because it was part of a parts truck for the other trucks. So this one was just basically junk. It was scrap. It was nothing left for the truck besides the cab, the body, the frame. The engine was shot. It had a V6, or not really a V6. It had a, like an I4 like engine in it, so it really wasn't a V6. So I decided it's like, you know what? We have this shell, this rolling chassis. How about we do something crazy? And that's what we did. And as you can see, this truck is no joke. 240 miles an hour in a, like a 40, 50 year old truck. That's nothing to play with. So everything has been replaced because if we're gonna have a truck like this that, had, that has that much power, just so you don't kill yourself, you wanna be able to, you wanna be able to put power down and still be able to handle it. And it's a very nice driving truck too. Look at that transmission go. I mean, that's the reason I wanted a sequential transmission is because, you know, you gotta remember, you know, NASCAR, you know, that's something alone, they shift pretty quick so you gotta you gotta have that transmission to be able to keep up with this engine you know you're revving up to 10,000 rpm you gotta be able to shift just as quick as the engine but man I, I really do love this truck and honestly now that I have built this one I don't know how are we going to compete with the C10 because as you guys don't know we are building a Chevy C10 truck which is just like this truck and if how can we top this truck i mean you can't go no bigger than like um a 9.0 unless you go with a v12 or something or like um a v10 but i don't really think you guys want to see that because we already have something crazy which is this truck but we might do something different um i heard uh, someone asked or not nah. so i think someone had uh brought up maybe for the C10, we can do a, um, what was it, a Power Stroke? I think it might have been a, it's either a Power Stroke or it was some type of engine. It's some diesel. They wanted to do a diesel swap. Um, so, I need to figure it out before we can officially, but we can get started on, like, the body and stuff like that. Because we're not ready for the engine and transmission yet. But man, I love this truck. I I just can't get over the uh, the transmission. That that's that sequential is just super quick. So you can launch the truck. So I'm gonna show you a launch. That was not good at all. Hold on. So here's how it looks and sound from the inside.
it's just a screaming. <laughs> oh, we're gonna take the truck to the highway and uh, we're gonna do a speed run. We're gonna see how fast is this truck. Oh my god. 237 miles an hour. Oh my god, that's 254 miles an hour. We are flying. Look at this thing go. Almost 300 miles an hour. Oh, hit the brakes. We got very strong, solid brakes on the truck. And I think we just cooked our engine. <laughs> the engine is done. I do believe. Um, we just locked up the engine. Hopefully, it's nothing serious. Um... Uh, <laughs> but Jesus, 275 miles an hour. What? That is sick. What? The little green truck that could is unbelievable. This is the fastest, believe it or not, this is now the fastest vehicle we are, we now own. We, whew, wow. Wow, who would have ever thought that a first-gen Ram truck can go that fast and not only drive good doing it? Like, that's crazy. You know, the biggest help is these big tires that I got on this truck, um, which I guess since the truck's now broken, we can show you the tire size because uh, these are some pretty big tires that we got on here. These are 15 by 14 Atler Drag um uh wheels that we got on here uh these are 29 basically 29 by 14 15 grip all drag all pro drag tires it's what we have all the way around the truck actually no 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 the back tires are different all right so that's what we have on the back now what we have on the front let me show you real quick. Uh, it's 26 by 26.5 by 14, 15 street front tires. And believe it or not, the street tires do just good. It doesn't have to be a drag tire. It's doing pretty perfect here. Uh, but we needed a drag tire on the back. Even though the truck's all-wheel drive, we needed the one on the back to be a drag tire just so we could put power down and have traction. Because... Without it, it will smoke those back tires completely off of it. And that's not what we want when you're trying to do a race. You want the best traction as possible. And this this is exactly what this old truck does. And it's crazy that, you know, you could... It's just a different build all around. I love it. I just, I, I just can't get over it. It's just such a nice truck. It's so good. I'm going to show you the meat and potatoes of the engine here. So... Here is the engine. Like I say, it's a 9.0 uh, with a stage one supercharger, cold air intake. Uh, it has uh, headers on it, racing headers, but it's been dumped. It's been cut and dumped, which I think I can show you underneath the truck. So it's been cut and dumped by just tips. So there you go. These are manifold tips, which is pretty dang solid, but... And then the interior pretty much just gutted out. Just a nitrous bottle and a seat. Oh, man. But there you go, guys. There is just... I just wanted to show you guys the old overlook of the old uh, first-gen Dodge Ram truck. Uh, it's a crazy, crazy monster. And I absolutely love it. Um, and I just... I can't believe that it just turned out this good. I didn't expect this truck to turn out this good. But it, it just... It did. It, you know, I had a vision for it, and it just, it just came out looking nice. Not only looking nice, driving nice, has the speed as it does not look. It's a perfect street truck. It's a sleeper. It's a perfect sleeper truck, and, you know, someone would look at something like this and be like, yeah, that's not going to be that quick. It's not going to be a fast truck, but little do they know that this, this thing has a nice power plant underneath the hood of it. <laughs> It's for sure. The tires can definitely be a dead giveaway, but you know what? If they're not looking, they won't notice it until you're like 25 car lengths ahead of them. So <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe, turn that post notification so you know when I post videos. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.